All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We're gonna go be going in with some Zodiac Dark Lords, and these are just two duels I had. Um, I don't really have too much time to record, you know, and sit there and play like four or five games because lately um, these games have been, it's been going very long. So not lately, but like the last two videos, these games have been going absolutely too long for me to just sit there and just, it, you guys are only going to get two duels. So instead of that, we're going to just, you know, do a little fast replay. You guys are going to see pretty much uh, what the process was and stuff. And I'm just going to go through that. As I said in the last video, I was going to put Leica in and it does help. Now, I still don't know how to do the um well actually i do know how to do it is i you need instant fusion to go plus five plus six and stuff like that but you know what as you can see what you're going to see after this first turn is I, I managed pretty well to um actually continue to plus and keep doing more and more stuff so as you can see here i'm just doing standard zodiac combos you know doing the stuff getting the stuff out the way getting a fusion substitute to get a draw as you see i'm finna draw three barrages which really sucks like i literally thin out all my deck and I still drew all three, but the, the barrages, which really sucks. So that's um, a bad thing. And uh, like I said, uh, I said before that, um, as you can see, look at that. This is absolutely pointless and sh shitty that that happened. But you know what? It, it's okay. We do have the soul charge on hand. So our soul charge is actually going to get us even further into our deck, which is going to just, you know, massively put us ahead. But... Uh, I, I thought Leica would pretty much change it to where it's um, you can get the plus five. But as I went back to look at the combo, you actually just you, you need instant fusion or you need an extra way to get um, an extra uh, monster on the field to get that plus five plus seven stuff like that. So we're going to just deal with this. But like I said, you know, even though I can't get the plus five, I'm still doing pretty good. I'm doing plus two, plus three, plus, you know, stuff like that. And as you can see, I'm going to end probably with, I think, four monsters and two back row. Um, in like five cards in here, some some six, five, six, five or six in the hand. Um, you guys are gonna see right now. Um, so yeah, look, look at that. That's just amazing. Just, 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 just literally just. Oh, what's the name? Just getting through the deck, um, and doing all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. End with two set, three monsters and six in hand. So that means six plus five. That's eleven. We started with five. So that's a plus six. So I guess it, it's still good. Um, and right here we're going up against two can. Uh, Toucan Sam, and uh, <laughs> he's going to be playing Burning the Abyss, and there's literally nothing he can really do. Um, sadly, I did not get the other Dark Lord card, which I really wanted, but it does not it does not pop up too many times in my hand, or other times it just gets banished, or something bad just happens to the card. Now, Fusion Substitute, um, as you guys are going to see in the uh, the deck profile, is probably is going to be at two in the deck profile because um, at the the more duels I play with this deck. The more I see that, you know what, I can't, I can't, like I said, I can't really do the combo like um, how everybody else is doing it because, you know, like I said, I don't play Instant Fusion. I don't really play anything else besides like Invoker to get extra exceeds and stuff on the board. So that pretty much has to be cut. So that's going to be a two. Um, I don't really know what else I, I'm, I'm going to change as of right now. But like I said, that's really the only thing I was going to change. And as you can see, this man does Twin Twister. I'm just chaining Call of the Hunter for no apparent reason, just to, you know, just to see what he's going to do. Now, what's really surprising me is he put the Beatrice in defense. Knowing I have a Drancy, I don't know if he was scared of Viper or what, because me having Drancy, meaning, like, if I do pop it, you just get a get a Pilgrim. So, you get um Dante's effect. I guess you get the effect under it. I forgot what card. I think Calcab is under it. Um, You get the effect of that, but I think Calcab actually... I don't know if it, I think it, it does negate monsters. So, I mean, like I said, you could, you could easily, you know, not, well, you know, to each of them. Uh, Toucan did what he, you know, thought was the best. But what I didn't, like, I didn't understand him putting Beatrice to defense because of the rest of the play. Like, this stuff right here, like, he's putting this stuff in defense. I'm like, okay, why are you doing that? So, you're basically conceding your turn, saying, all right, I can't break your board. Well, you could have easily turned it to the attack and attacked my Degusta Emerald. And then you pretty much would have forced my Drancia. Me getting back, what's the name, is just bad business for him because Ixtab does have the trap card to activate. Then I guess, no, this is Calcab. Okay, the other one is the uh, the effect negator. You guys are going to see. He's going to detach it. But as you can see, he, I guess, accidentally activated the effect thinking it was the other one. I mean, I mean, obviously, we both got mixed up. I mean, I got mixed up now, and he got mixed up during the duel. But that one right there, um, Alec. Okay, that's the one that negates effects. He probably thought it was that. That's the reason why he activated it. 
So he just returned his tractor's name. But I thought it was going to be a burning uh, fire lake. So it, I don't think it really matters anyways. And right now, I'm just pretty much going through the motions. Because right now, he's going to far from my Degusta Emerald. And he's going to use Alec on my Ixab. I'm just going to chain um, both cards and just pretty much make the, uh, make his whole play is just pretty much like there's no reason for that. Take his Beatrice. And I do make a crucial mistake right here. Um, forgetting that one card that doesn't you don't do as much damage as you think you're going to do as you're going to see right now I have I could have OTK them at any point in time I thought I'd put the what's name back in my deck but it didn't as you're going to see right there did not put the back black sheet back in the deck but as you can see I could have OTK them at any point in time so that really was not the factor like I said right here I could have just um right here I could have just uh please let me see um I could, you know, I exceed into this. What I continue to forget his effect, which I think it either halves the damage. I think yeah, it halves the damage, correct? Um, but in, in in reality, if I would have just used his effect, he would have been Perea. He has the damage. He would have gained two hundred for all exceeds. So I have four, a six, and a fucking eight. So what is that? A four, six. That's ten and an eight. That's eighteen. So that's eighteen times two. That's actually twenty six hundred. So. He, I, I would have did 46, but I thought it was all right. And here, um, I start off, and I believe that um, I believe this man is going to quit when he finds out what hand. But as you can see, this hand is fr pretty fucking good because we can already start off with the, um, the young what's the name? We have a trade in for the Zorado and stuff like that. So yeah, we we were going to get a little we we're going to get a little uh, uh, crazy with that. But as you can see, we do have a little tough rock paper scissors. I thought he was going to let me go first. But he didn't. But look at this hand. This hand is just amazing. When you have open up X tab and uh, a Momorat or something like that to get your play started, it's just busted. So here, I'm like, fuck. We're going against this. He lords has the necro face. All right, so that's cool. Vanishes my favorite trap card in the whole goddamn deck, and then pot of the wildies into a pot of desires, which did get announced for a reprint. Hey, uh, I guess everybody who wanted them can now play them. And right here, I'm thinking, all right, I'm just about to quit because uh, what is he? I thought he was gonna go. If he was gonna go start another. Necroface, you see I put my mouth on a surrender. I was not going to let that happen. So But uh, I'm not not really not gonna let it happen I was just gonna not play it because this is gonna be uh, you know outrageous to play and as you can see My hand is pretty good now. I do kind of probably make a mistake which I probably shouldn't have used a barrage I should have just normal some on Momorad and did this exact play Because I could have put stuff back and then used the barrage and then like kept equipped in my Drancia with more stuff But as you see right here, I'm going to do the same, the same standard combo is going to probably end us with a, since we do have trading, we do have X tab, it's probably going to end us probably with a plus two, probably plus three, I think, if the play goes through. As you can see, he's giving me that, you know, the little waiting sign. I'm thinking, fuck, what does he have? As you can see, the Viper is still in the deck, and I have not normal summon yet, so don't so don't forget about that. I have not normal summon yet. Here we go. I'm going to the Lyca, and the Lyca pretty much extends this combo by itself. So, you know, this the two Raptors can can do it for you but like i said instant fusion would make you know the hand just like 400 times better so here we go we're going to grab the uh Momora. and this is why i should have sent viper no i should have normal summoned Momorat and sent the viper because i could have got it back with that and then put uh, a Momorat back so i just put a black sheet back and then Lyca and what's the name use the uh Norden to get that back and as you can see he gains another 500 so i normal summon terra top because you know Terra Top is busted, and I have not normal summon, so we're going to go into a totem bird. And the only reason I go into totem bird here because uh, what I was going to do is just is just simply just attack and then like try to force something. But here I go sitting here like fuck why? And then I, I activated this, forgetting that I used barrage in an earlier turn. So as you can see, I'm sitting there pressing the button. I'm like fuck. I, <laughs> as you can see, I'm moving the mouse around. So it's like damn. I forgot I used Barrage, and that's another reason why I should have normal summoned, even though, you know, you never know what you might draw into. I'm just saying that it probably would have been better for me to just normal summon and keep the Barrage, because you never know. Um, I mean, like, the Barrage is just automatically just better later than it is earlier, because if you, you know, establish your normal summon and stuff like that, you can, I could have did a whole bunch more. So here we go, I just attack with those two, because you see, I, don't, I can't even see his life points, but I know it's over 16,000 or something like that. Um... I just popped a soul absorption thing and all right so if he has something you know he's pretty much going to kill me someone's great my Judah as so i'm thinking this is over here i think he has a dimensional barrier set so that's why i used on the lore i'm like fuck he maybe he's going to make a mistake and change dimensional barrier and i thought that was it but it's the actually dd dynamite so i'm like okay i'm fine 
let's go ahead and just go into battle phase. And then I'm just going to Drantia. And I'm thinking he has to have something. There's no way you just throw that as a, just to feed me as a, and that's at 6,800. It's almost a game shot, but not close. I mean, not yet, but it's almost a game shot. But no, he did not, he just literally didn't have anything. So here I go, just styling and profiling. I can't kill him. There's no possible way I can kill him. I accidentally put my Dedustin Emerald in defense. But I don't think that really matters. Like I said, I cannot kill him. There's no possible way I can kill him. I've seen, what, I've seen an Inferno Tempest off the pot of Duality. So that's exactly why I did not want to bring anything over 3,000. Because I easily could have went into another fo uh, Galaxy Eyes, uh, the Photon, the 4,000 one. But because you know, as you see, I have like... I got already got three exceeds, so that's just going to be amazing. This is going to be a whole bunch of attack, but I did not want him to use Infernal Tempest. So, as you can see here, I'm thinking what I should do, what I should do. Should I trade in? I mean, should I use the Call of the Hunter? And I, I, I opted to go with the Call of the Hunter because, like I said, all this gets right under that 3,000 threshold that Infernal Tempest needs. And so, here I go, just searching my deck. Like I said, I'm just doing a whole bunch of plays because... Uh, you, you just have so many, yeah, like the, the Dark Lord part of the deck is it's so fun to just get multiple draws. And here I'm thinking, should I tribute summon or should I not? Should I tribute summon? Should I not? What should I do? Should I do the X-Tab? Should I do Zerato? But at the end of the um, at the end of the day, I chose to go Zerato because it's the most attacking. Once again, it's still under that 3,000 threshold. Uh, so I'm just going to go in. I thought, I, I was thinking, you know, drowning Mirror Force or something, but no, he does not have it. We're just going to get in for a whole bunch of damage. And then in main phase two, like I said, use X-Tab and continue to go. We're going to go Hope Dragon still. He can't use any spells, soil absorption, anything like that. I decided, I opted to use Upstart Goblin thinking that I had, uh, what not, no, I just used Upstart Goblin. I said, fuck, I'm not going to be able to uh, use it any other time because it's going to be pointless. And here, um, I used, I the only reason I did that. Is because I thought I had the damn just my favorite trap card of Dark Lords in there, but turns out I don't because I I don't because Necroface banished it earlier, and so here it goes. I'm thinking he's just going to quit and let it stall out. That's why I'm checking the time and stuff like that because you guys are not really seeing it because it's been sped up, uh, it's been sped up, so you guys don't really see it. But this man is taking like forever. He's just sitting here and look. That's how long it's been taking. I, this is sped up and it's still he's not doing anything. So I'm just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm thinking, all right, so he just probably quit. So I'm just waiting, 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 waiting some fucking more, man. Just like 10,000 years later and stuff like that. So what he ends up doing is just summoning um, the card he gold sarked for um, and then just pretty much attacking it. And, I, and then you guys are going to see what happens. But still waiting. Fuck. You, now, you can you guys like this, uh, this imagine how long that takes? This is sped up like literally 200%. So it's like, damn, that shit took a very long time. He attacks my Drancia. I redirect him to Hope Harbinger because um, I said, fuck it. I was going to chain, but I said, fuck it. Let me just let it die. And so that's it. He ends his turn, and we pretty much pull out the victory. And he was at like 20,000, probably 19,000. So, yeah. But that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any comments or anything about that, leave a like below. After I get done with this video, you guys are going to see a little deck list, so don't leave yet. Um, also, click add to help support the channel, which will be very helpful, and I appreciate you for it. And I will see you guys next week with some more dual videos.